This is a tutorial for CPCTC triangle congruence. CPCTC stands for corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So what does that mean for us? Well first of all, let's take a look at two triangles. Let's take a look at triangle ABC and triangle XYZ. Now, I'm going to tell you that these two triangles are congruent, and you could pick any way to make them congruent from what we've discussed in previous tutorials. I'm just going to use the side, side, side congruency postulate. So, I'll mark each of these sides as congruent with another side on the other triangle, and you can see that these two triangles are congruent. They're congruent as triangle ABC is congruent to triangle XYZ. So now that we know that, what does that mean for us? Well, we also know that corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So let's look at it this way. Angle A and triangle ABC corresponds to angle X and triangle XYZ. So if angle A were, let's say, 60 degrees, this guy is 60 degrees, then angle X would also be 60 degrees. Now, let's say you knew that angle Z on triangle XYZ were 59 degrees. Well then, because angle C corresponds to angle Z, you could tell that angle C would also be 59 degrees. Now let's look at it from a leg perspective. Let's say that you knew that segment BC were equal to, let's say, 3x, any sort of a variable. Well then, what do you think segment YZ would be? It would also be 3x, because those two parts of those triangles correspond to each other, and we know that corresponding parts of congruent triangles are themselves congruent. So when proving triangle theorems later, you can always use CPCTC to establish that those corresponding parts of those congruent triangles are congruent to each other.